Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. In today's video, I'm going to be comparing my Matchless Independence 35 with my Axe Effects. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I hear comment after comment where people are just slating modelers. And personally, I think the Fractal Axe Effects 3, for me, is a far more practical solution for live and in the studio. So what I'm going to do in today's video is to have two examples of each amplifier, I'm calling the XFX an amplifier even though it's a modeler, the XFX and the matchless. Now I'm not going to tell you which one is source one and which one is source two until the end of the video. And we're going to see or just test yourself to see if you think you can hear the difference between a real amplifier and a modeler. I should say before I do anything else that the audio levels have been matched as close as possible. If I've got to try and match it even more in post, I will do that so there's no sort of volume discrepancy between the two. But I'm trying to get it as close as possible. It's not going to be a scientific experiment. It's just basically if you think you can hear the difference between a modeler and an amplifier. So let's start with example number one. I'm going to play something clean on both of the units. So here's source number one. <laughs> And here's example number two. Source number one again. And source number two. As I said earlier, example one is always going to be the same source. So it's either going to be the Axe FX or the Matchless amplifier. And that's never going to change. So I'm always going to play the same one first and then the second one second. So we're not going to get confused. Here's source number one. <laughs> Source number two. Now, hopefully at this point, I'm confusing you a little bit because you're probably thinking, well, I can tell the sound of an amplifier and a modeler because of the breakup tones. Now, this is something that the Axe Effects is really good at. The Axe Effects is really good at those edge breakup tones where the amp is just ever so slightly breaking up. Now, I'm gonna throw a spanner in the works a little bit. I'm just editing this video and I'm listening back to the examples. And I thought I'd just drag out this, which is the Boss GX100. Now, what I'm planning on doing 
is doing another video where I'm comparing the Axe FX, which is effectively a 3,400 euro modeler to the Boss GX100. The GX100, I think is about 500 euros. Now it doesn't matter if you're on a budget or not. The Boss GX100 is unbelievable. It's a fantastic piece of equipment. If this equipment was double the price, I would still think it's an absolute bargain. So as I said, the GX100 is about 500 euros. Now let me just play something through the GX100 and you can hear how that sounds. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see a video where I'm comparing the Axe FX, the 3,400 euro Axe FX to the 500 euro GX100. Anyway, let's move on with the examples. Now let's put some drive on both of these sounds. I'm not using any of the internal overdrives inside of the Axe FX. And I'm keeping on the same channel on the Matchless Independence 35. I'm going to be using this Ryra clone pedal, or clone pedal I should say. And example number one. And now source number two. And now the last example, this is source number one. And now source number two. Now this isn't just a flippant comment. For me, the feel of both more or less feel the same. I'm not noticing like a massive difference between the the reaction of either the Axe FX or the Matches Amplifier. They're both reacting in more or less the same sort of way. Now I know what example one is and what example two is, so I'm sort of compensating for that maybe a little bit. And there might be a slight difference in say like the latency between and I'm talking a very slight difference between the way that when you're picking and the sound that comes out, and I'm talking, it's nothing. I don't think, you know, you'd ever feel it, especially live, you'd definitely never feel it. In terms of sound, I've definitely got a preference. And I've got to be honest, it's the Axe FX. I prefer the way the Axe FX sounds. I love the Axe FX. I think it's brilliant that I can basically program in any sound that I want and the effects in it are just outstanding. It's not a hard thing to program, especially by using the editor that you can put on your computer. The match list, as great as it is, is far less versatile. You've basically got three channels, which is great. You've got a clean channel, um, an overdrive channel, and an overdrive channel with a bit more guts in it. And all three channels in the match list do sound fantastic. Now, if I had the choice, I would always be taking the match list out to gigs, but it's not always practical and you haven't always got the space at gigs. So that is why I take out the Axe FX and the Axe FX just sounds absolutely fantastic. 
And the way that I can connect up my in-ear monitors to the XFX just makes it a no-brainer. So anyway, I guess you want to know what Source 1 is and what Source 2 is. Source 1 is the XFX and Source 2 is the Matches Amplifier. And doing this video has confirmed for me why I always switch on the Axe effects when I come in the studio. I think it sounds absolutely fantastic. Now, this isn't a sponsored video. Fractal Audio are not paying for this video. Personally, I think the Fractal Axe FX3 is an outstanding unit and I'd highly recommend everyone trying one. And some of the comments that I hear where people are still anti-modelers and they're still going about old valve amplifiers. Yes, I love both, but we've got to get used to modelers and modelers are here to stay. They're far more practical and they sound fantastic. Now, does this mean that I'm going to be selling my amplifiers? No, definitely not. The XFX is the first thing that I plug in and it is the thing that I would take to a gig, but the Maxxis is there just in case I need it for that odd occasion where I really need that particular sound. Anyway, I really hope you guys got something out of this. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe, click on the bell button and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the studio at. So I'm Paul and I'll see you next time. Cheers.